Hi St. Mary's friends, it's Amelia here. I hope you are nice and cozy somewhere on this cold winter day. I am here to share story time with you today and I have two stories to share with you today. I'm going to read you a story from the Bible about Samuel and then we have a story called Quiet that you'll get to see all the pages of the book to in a few minutes. Today's reading in church is about Samuel the prophet. And Samuel the prophet was called when he was a very young person. He was just 12 years old. And I'm going to read you the story from the Bible about Samuel being called by God. God calls Samuel. Samuel was a 12-year-old boy who lived in the temple with a priest named Eli and learned about God. Eli took care of Samuel, and Samuel helped take care of Eli because Eli was almost blind. Being blind means that you cannot see. One night, something special happened. As Samuel slept in the temple, he heard a voice call out, Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli calling him, so he jumped up from his bed and ran to Samuel and said, Here I am. Samuel answered as he ran to Eli, I'm here because you called me. But Eli shook his head. I didn't call you. Go back to your bed. Samuel did as he was told and fell asleep quickly. A little while later, the voice called again, Samuel. This time, Samuel was more tired and crawled out of his bed more slowly. And in Eli's room, Samuel rubbed his eyes, scratched his tummy, and said with a yawn, I'm here because you called me. Eli was getting tired of Samuel coming into his room and said more firmly, I didn't call you. Now please go back to bed. This happened a third time, and that time Eli thought to himself, Aha, it must be God who was calling Samuel. Eli told Samuel, who was now very confused and very sleepy, if you are called again, just say, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. When the voice called again, Samuel did just as Eli had told him to. And it was God. And God had many things to say to Samuel. Even though he was only 12, Samuel wanted to serve God. With God's help, Samuel grew up to share many messages from God. People all over Israel knew Samuel as God's trusted prophet. And here's a picture of Samuel. So this is a story about listening. And I think you guys, we've talked about it before. Prophets are people who listen to God and tell out what God has for them to say. Now Samuel was just a little boy. He was only 12, but he heard very clearly God calling to him. And all of us are called by God, but it takes a special kind of listening. It takes a listening with not just our ears, but with our hearts. And we're all called to listen for God. And all of us, no matter if you're 12 or 3 or 6 or 88, get to hear God talk to us. So I hope that as you go on through this week, maybe you will listen more carefully to where God is talking to you. Now the storybook that we have today is called Quiet, and it is a book filled with sounds, filled with all kinds of sounds, and about this little girl listening to all the sounds that are happening around here, around her. So I hope you enjoy this story, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Quiet by Kate Elise Day, published by Child's Play Incorporated. Shh. Listen. What's that noise? Creak. It's the bubbling of the pan and the humming of the fridge. It's the microwave ping and the clatter from the sink. It's me tapping on the table and my brother banging his spoon. It's the cat chewing her food and my dad laughing away. Hee 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 ha 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 ha. Listen, what's that noise? Burble, ping, clank, swish, tiptoe, meow. 
It's the TV babbling as I zoom zoom the car across the rug and the cat purrs and the dog snoring and the laptop whirring and the pitter patter of the rain against the window. It's my brother rattling his toys and giggling when I tickle his feet and the swish and the rustle as I turn the pages of my book. Shh, listen, what's that noise? Creak, drip. It's the water dripping from the taps and the splish splash of my bath and the squeak squeak of my rubber duck and the swoosh of the flush. It's the whirring of the hair dryer and the scrubbing of my toothbrush and the gurgle of the water down the sink. Shh, listen, what's that noise? Creak, tick tock, click, click. It's the creak of the floorboards and the bed squeaking. It's the soft hush voice of my dad as he reads me a bedtime story and his deep quiet voice as he sings a lullaby. And the flip flop of his friendly feet as he clicks off the switch and blows me a good night kiss. Mwah. Shh, listen, it's so quiet.